Most people don't come to this country because they just want to come on a whim. People take serious consideration and decisions before they leave their own home. My mother left her country of origin in the 1970s and settled here as a political asylum seeker in the very area that I now represent here in Westminster. She didn't actually come here because she wanted to. She came here because she had no choice, because it was too dangerous for her to go back to Bangladesh. We've always prided ourselves in Britain for being a safe haven for people who either come here because they're fleeing political persecution in their own homes or seeking economic opportunity. Shouldn't we be in a situation where we make sure they're not locked up indefinitely? We have a limit on how long we can detain criminal suspects or terror suspects, but we don't actually give the same protection to immigrants, to refugees, to asylum seekers. This is a true miscarriage of justice. It's also a very expensive system. If we actually release det detainees on a timely fashion, then we would save 344 million pounds over a five year period. So aside from everything else, the compassionate argument, the fact that it's cruel, that it's ruining people's lives, leading to suicide, leading to mental health problems, is also extremely inefficient and expensive. In Parliament, you're allowed to bring in what's called a 10 minute rule bill, where you present to the House and make sure that all members from across the chamber understand why this campaign is so important. I've chosen this particular topic as my 10 minute rule bill. This is already a front bench Labour Party policy, but what I've done is reached out to Lib Dems, to the Scottish Nationalist Party, to Conservative MPs and said, is this something we should be doing? Despite all the divisions in politics at the moment, Every person I asked from the Conservative benches, Lib Dem benches and SNP said yes, we agree, this is blighting our nation, this should put us to shame, we shouldn't be locking up people indefinitely. So my objective is to make sure the bill is heard in the chamber, that Mr Speaker hears it and that we have a second reading in January about how we ultimately try and make this legislation 